Hello, my name is Elizabeth Aloof and I'm a third year medical student at Brighton and Sussex Medical School. And I have a physical disability that can cause, as well as the mobility issues, can also cause other side effects like fatigue and affecting my ability to concentrate. I also have a learning disorder, which is kind of like dyslexia, but a little bit more complicated. And I also have something called Erlen syndrome, which can affect my ability to read. If you've never heard about it before, I definitely recommend Googling some pictures that portray it because it's very interesting if you've never understood it before. I also have something called prosopagnosia, and it's a facial blindness disorder, which can mean that other than about seven people, I can't recognise anybody else. And all of these are really big factors to why I originally didn't want to go into medical school. It was on the back of my mind about how I'd never truly be able to become a doctor if I can't even pick patients out of a crowded room or if I'd be able to do the ward rounds because you see so many things on the TV about how doctors are being worked to the ground at the moment. How could I, somebody with a physical disability, do it if even people who are physically abled can't do it? And I think that all really messed with my confidence going into the application process. And I remember speaking to a medical student about it and they talked about BSMS and how it's actually very common to have disabilities, both physical and learning disorders, and about how I think about 25% of them in the medical school in their year had a physical or learning disability. And I think that really helped because you don't really hear too much about doctors with medical conditions. And I think also patients almost expect all doctors to be really healthy. And maybe at one point that was the case, but that's certainly not the case anymore. And I've definitely felt that since being on the wards. And I've done a full article about this, talking about my experience with dyslexia, both in the application process and in medical school, as well as with a disability. So if you want to read that full article, then you can click the link, link above.